You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we're going to be talking to Lewis Allen on the telephone. Now he's um, taken part in a couple of runs and he's been raising money for charity. Firstly, thank you very much for uh, for joining us. Yep, yep, thank you, yeah. So firstly, tell our listeners all about um, why you've been raising the money and uh, what charity that's been for. Yeah, so uh, I've currently been raising money for the Freedom Centre in Sheerness. Um, they help people with uh, all ages, with all kinds of disabilities, get through day-to-day business, learn new skills. Now, it's a local local based charity on the island. Um, they've helped my mum out for many years because she had a stroke uh, quite a long time ago. And, yeah, they've been helping out very helpful. So I just wanted to show them appreciation and raise them as much money as I can. I've done um, the island 10-mile run and I've done the Wimbledon half marathon. So uh, what was it like um, doing the Wimbledon Half Marathon first? We'll tell the listeners about that and how it went. Yeah, well, it was a, quite a hot day. My mate came along with me. Um, went really well. Got quite a good time. I come um, 85 out of 600 and something people. So I've done quite a good time in an hour and 40 minutes, 13 miles, done pretty well. Was that what the sort of time you were hoping to do or did you do better? Yeah, um, it was around that time I was averaging. Yeah, I thought I'd done pretty well. So was there a lot of training involved, um, building up, or um, were you sort of uh, ready to to, to run? Uh, I'm actually in the army, so it it wasn't really much different to what I do at work. (laughs) So uh, so you were sort of well trained and uh, and ready for it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I didn't do any specific training for, for the event. I just... Up and when I'm done it. <laughs> so general fitness was enough to get you through. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then you did um, the island run as well. Yes. Yeah, the ten mile island run. Yeah, I come um, about fifteenth. I think I come in that fifteenth place in the island run, ten mile run. So that's not bad. And I assume that felt a lot um, shorter and easier than the uh, the half marathon. Yeah. Yeah. That was. But I can't even like class that as like my warm up for the half marathon. It was the weekend before. It was pretty quite challenging, but I managed to push through it. Yeah, done all for a good cause. So just refresh our listeners the uh, good cause you were uh, doing it for. And also, I think you've got a Just Giving page that's uh, still open at the moment, I understand. Yeah, that's correct. I set up a Just Giving page. Um, been shown the link around on Facebook. Um, just got to click on the link and you can don- donate with whatever you can afford, even if it's a £50, pound, anything. Every little helps. Okay, so if they search for your name on uh, on Facebook, they should should find that link. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Is there anything else you wanted to get over to listeners or uh, let them know about before we finish? Um, just uh, thank you very much for everyone that has donated, and it is going for a local charity, the Sheerness, that do that help out great with people with disabilities. And it'd be amazing if any everyone can donate whatever they can afford. And that's the Freedom Centre. Yeah, the Freedom Centre in Sheerness. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for uh, taking the time out to talk to us. Brilliant. Thanks very much.